Hi guys, welcome to, back to the XCOMs, and uh, we're doing some uh, Australia right now. We got four days left in the in the month, so uh, let's just go save Australia quickly and then uh, call it uh, call it a month, shall we? Okay, so we got some new new gear, as you may know. Uh, so we're gonna start equipping it. We got a laser rifle for him, and for her, a laser rifle too. So my snipers are pretty good and equipped. They got some pretty pretty nice weapons. I bought another carapace armor, but I didn't actually didn't have anyone to actually really use it on, so I'll just give it to her. I just realized I did that. Okay, so on um, Mr. Shiv, my support, uh, we will give him the arc thrower as a secondary. Because he can actually now, as of his last upgrade, he can have two items now, and that's what I want. I want an arc thrower in the second slot. Um, and it just occurred to me I wanted to do I want to get another med pack. And I can't actually do that unless I sell something, which is actually fine by me. I have a lot of thin man corpses from that last mission. I mean, it was a graveyard practically designed for thin men, so it was their graves the whole time. So now I have two bucks, so I have enough for like a happy meal or some shit. And, and yeah, here we are. All right. So uh, now I have two people with a lot of med kits. Uh, so I have like six med kits for my entire team. That's really good. Uh, I'm really satisfied with that, and but I only get one frag grenade, uh, one frag grenade, and that all, that, that same guy only gets uh, one rocket off. The, the last person will also get another frag. I'm, I don't know if it's gonna be another assault or another heavy. It could be another heavy because maybe I just won't run ahead with assaults. That works for me. Um, especially on, I, I'm I'm not hugely into assaults, so you know I, I'm content with having lots of RPGs you know and two supports and then two snipers I'm more about the sniping and the range maintaining distance so you know I'm good with that okay I think I think I've done everything oh no he should get a laser rifle it just occurred to me why do I have like crappy gear on him he's he's a permanent member of this team okay we need 16 bucks so I was just looking at him just like well I kind of need that stuff do we get anything that we can just sell no okay so more than men corpses uh, we can sell like two more. Who cares? Okay. Construct one more laser rifle. Now, now I'm happy because I, I had him last time with that stupid gun, and now that I have the upgrades, there's no, there's no, there's no reason for me not to have this now. Okay, I think he's pretty good. Actually, you know what? Let's let's make everyone have cooler armor. Like, I, I don't know why everyone has a sissy armor. I, and the rest of these people don't really- well, actually, this person again. It actually changes the color, you know, when I actually do it, except for Zhang. I can't actually give it to him, so he's good. He's ugly for life, okay? So let's go. Yeah, it took a little while to get started, I know. So now that we have the arc thrower, we're gonna try and capture an alien. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna love it. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. So that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So tasing aliens kind of sucks because it puts you into a lot of danger. That's the problem with it. Central, Big Sky in position on a oh, fuck. Site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Remember this map? We, we had really good times with this one. <laughs> it's exactly the same! You know what? My sniper's not taking this shit. Except Dan can't get a fucking shot off. I don't really know why. Alright. Start heading to the window. We're gonna just make sure. Oh wait, now we can get a shut off. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't want attention coming my way yet. Oh, that's a that's a delicious, delicious shot I can make. Uh. No, no, we're gonna bide our time, and we're gonna dash over here. Next turn, we'll take- we'll make the shot, because that- that- that battle scanner lasts for two- two turns, okay?
Look, okay, it's up to seven damage. It's, that's delicious. Okay, we got one, and then he's gonna go, go, what the fuck just happened to my friend? And, and then there was one. So, this is a good guy to actually start trying to get a, a, a flank on. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move up. Oh, and there's some thin men. You know, they, they, they just get up slowly. They don't even care. Okay, let's see how my snipers are doing for shots. Uh, okay, I'm gonna divert my attention to the thin men then. Okay, no shots available there. No shots there, okay, and... Now, this this guy unfortunately can't really get get in there that easily. But I'll see I'll see who, who has the easier shot to take. Um, apparently I can't aim with him. There we go. Okay, that's a that's worth a try. Okay, now there's only one. So we're gonna hunker down everyone. Uh hunker down, please. And end turn, because apparently he can't get his second shot off. Okay, just let this guy, you know, have his little, like, pissing match or whatever the fuck he's going to do. And he's calling in the swarm or something? And now he's going to screw up again. Okay. He's afraid! <laughs> he, he, he knows the stun gun is coming. He, he senses it. I'm, I'm kind of being going to be inclined to kind of move up all the way here. And so, in that... Well, actually, no. I can just go like, oh, look at that! Look at this. This is a delicious move. Then, then I stun gun him next round. Oh man. All right, let's start. Let's start going in there. Let's annoy him with pistols. Actually, no, no. You know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I don't want to actually. Here's the thing. I don't actually want to hurt him. Okay. So, I would kind of want to suppress him. So what, here's what he's going to do. He, this guy is going to be on Overwatch and that should scare him off, okay, from moving. This is like this is like the, the true tacticalness of this game is getting the fuck up to someone to stun them. So I won't be able to kill him with a pistol. He froze up. Okay. This is good news for me. And this means I'm going to... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to flank around on this guy. Hit him with a pistol, okay? And he's like, he's like, oh shit, I'm wounded. And then, and then Mr. Shiv, uh, being the ultimate badass that he is, goes, fuck you. And just comes in here. And 70% chance to hit. And that's our first stun of the day. This game, this game is so much fun. <laughs> okay, now he's pretty much just... He's he's out of commission. That's that's pretty much it. So now I can just have everybody Overwatch. Okay, so uh, the only thing that will kill him now are explosives. So I don't really have to worry about him anymore. We can just leave him there. So we're just gonna move everyone up, kind of here. Uh, I, I don't want really my two snipers to be in exactly the same place here, so... Uh, debating just... Uh, 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 Volkov is going to start moving down. And I think the two, the last two are up there. It would really make sense. Yeah, it lo looks like they are. Okay, let's see if we can get him over here. Okay. It's, he's still safe. I think both of my snipers actually need to move the hell up. Or at least one... Well, yeah, they, they all need to move up. The stun one is interesting. He kind of sits there. You know, that sounds like a muton. So we're not, we're not, we're not getting in there until uh, sniper cover arrives. Okay. Uh... Here we go.
You know, what, you know what time it is? Time to stun more motherfuckers. That's what time it is. Now, he's not in the best of positions. I was kind of hoping that uh, we'd get at least one shot off. Man, if we can get two stuns this mission, that would be awesome. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. One guy... Uh, okay. I wanna kill at least one of them, so here's what we're gonna do. We got a flank shot here. Uh, this is the one with the stun... Oh, fuck me! Oh, I... I, I got these guys out. Wait, what the hell? That guy was inside a fucking door. Uh, but, you know, this may have just screwed up my entire plan. And why- I don't know why he can't shoot him. Okay, well, let's- let's get a smoke off here. Because my sniper is actually in really piss poor cover. I didn't actually intend for that to happen. Maybe I did, who knows. Okay, so this sniper is gonna head over here to this cover. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is this is not as good as I was hoping it would turn out. Oh wait, ah, uh, he's pistoling. Oh whatever, it's a miss anyways. Okay, we're gonna suppress. That's an area of effect, so I get both of them suppressed. And he got hit, but it's only two damage. Oh, okay. That was... That's surprising to me. Alright. Um... Won't lie. I don't know what the hell the mutons are up to. It's freaking me the fuck out, though. Alright, so, uh, if I was to stun one of them, I could get either one. So at this moment, um... He should just get whoever's easier, and that would be that guy. Oh, we get double tap. Can I can I get a pistol shot off? That's five damage, dude. <laughs> I have a problem. I do too much damage. Uh, all right, let's see. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. Okay, we can see the muton though as well. However, that means it's in squad sight. So, you know what? Actually, I have an idea. It's gonna be danger close though, but. This is my favorite kind of danger. Okay. Uh, it's... You're gonna, uh, I don't know about this. But here we go. Anyways. Okay, grenades. Guaranteed three damage. Okay. And his cover is gone. Fantastic. Well, I fucked that up royally. Oh well. That's what, that's what smoke grenades are for. It's to cover Mike's fuck-ups. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Hey, you! You wanna get stunned? Excellent. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. There's no way this will go poorly. <laughs> Best cover ever! Go! <laughs> Smoke grenades. Make up for my shittiness. Alright, I, I kind of want to move this person over here, although it might be better just to overwatch them both. And I can't actually overwatch him. Yeah, I can only do a second shot, so we have to end my turn. Hey, Mr. Muton. Oh, he's going to shoot at him. Oh, that's okay. Uh-oh. Wait, this may not be okay. No, Mr. Shiv! No, fuck! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, that was a really fucking bad idea on my part. I... Yeah, Mike Ladd, everyone, etc. You get the fuck back in here. Never again are we doing this. Now, the next problem is that everyone's beside a car right now, but, uh... We got a, we got a good squad side sniper shot here. 
He can't Overwatch though, which is unfortunate. But I can, I, I can't fire. Rock uh, by the way, I'm out of, I'm out of. Before you even mention it, I'm out of. Uh, I, I, I can't do any more shots on him. Holy shit! I could just, I could take out this whole wall. That would like, that would wreck his cover. I wish I could kind of just shoot in there just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna spread out these guys a little more, perhaps. Actually. I'm wondering what I should do. Okay, so clearly this person is not going to get any shots anytime soon. I, I need I need a better spread though. So See, I think he's too far away for uh, a a grenade, anyways. Just in case, I'm not going to move this person anywhere where they can get flanked. Here's the problem. I need to I need to get She needs to get into a place where she can shoot. I can move her here to shoot. No, actually, actually I'd rather just shoot her here. Move her here. That's a much better place. Okay, so she has a she has a squad site available. And these two are gonna overwatch to prevent his movement. If he moves, then he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And full cover saves us again. Okay. We have one squad sight shot available. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That's not good at all. Hmm. It's it's a forty six percent chance to hit. It's not a very good chance. Let's see what we can do. We got his cover though. I probably should have opened up with him to be honest. Uh, let's see who else we got. Okay, he can dash over here. I kind I try, I try, kind of want to bring him into a position where he can help. Yeah, that's not helping. Okay, let's let's get some uh, MG rounds off. Ah, oh, there you go, five damage. Oh, you can get another one while well, he has to reload. Okay, let's just Overwatch, prevent him from going anywhere really major. Oh no, he's gonna try and run. Apparently, we really hated that painting behind him, though. And he's gonna shoot my guy in half cover. That uh, was a really bad place for him to be, to be honest. But uh, I, he's not gonna live anyways. He's pretty much done. Commander, the operation was a success. I would definitely say so. I, I got two fucking uh, captures out of that. Interrogations are ridiculous. Man, Mr. Shiv. Okay, Russia's pissed. Germany's pissed. Okay, but we're coming straight back to XCOM headquarters, so that's fine. I got five satellites, guys, so you know you don't really have to be concerned about me getting countries. Wounded, wounded. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work, indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. We have two light plasma rifles, which is nice. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. Uh. Well, we'll make. Oh, how many engineers Three do we engineers get? Forty. Yes. Morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We should begin interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility, but I can't say for how long. Light plasma rifles could take a while. Um, heavy ri laser rifles, I'm not too inclined to do. I would actually be inclined to actually do new fighter craft because I'm running into problems with uh, fighter craft. Uh, so, or either that or Illyrium. Actually, maybe Illyrium. Illyrium, uh, sorry. Do lyrium and then the other thing, because this this gets us um, better power generation, which I'm actually starting to need. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Spin the world for a couple more days. Uh, oh man, do you want? Okay, no, not now. I don't know if I'm gonna need those. Okay, well, let's go launch satellites. I'm, I'm, I'm now worried about them really close. Okay, so first countries you launch it to are the ones that launched. want it. Satellite launched. Satellite okay, we have two more available, so here's our options. We can get, uh, well, Africa, we already have the bonus. We can't do the bonus here. We can get this bonus here, which is like, um, uh, this one gets We Have Ways, which is like, uh, faster interrogations. I'll, I'll be getting that next month. I'm gonna do all my interrogations all at once, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, expert knowledge, expert knowledge will give us, um, uh, that will do, yeah, this is Europe. So this one will do cheaper, okay. If we do these two, so we have two left. We could do these two, and these ones will get us uh, cheaper. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. These ones will get us cheaper workshops and labs. I'm not really using those too much, so that's why I'm thinking that we just do future combat because that one will actually get us direct upgrades right now, and then uh, then just some other random country, maybe like Canada or something. United Kingdom. Well, actually, no. We can we can use more engineers. We can always use more engineers. So we could probably do something like uh, three satellites. We get plus. Two, we get another engineer. Okay, so Australia. Satellite launched. So all projects in the foundry and officer training school cost fifty percent less. And uh, pretty much my my second one should just be the one that gives me the most money. Let's just do Canada, so pa Canada stops panicking. I like Canada, uh, and we get another engineer anyway. So. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Yeah, Additional let's let's go finish the month. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Kind of worried because of uh, Asia here is like. Um, Remember, we will be watching. They're still, they're still pretty panicked. Even though I gave them the satellites, it, they we basically need to do missions that lower global scale of, of, and also we have to worry about fighter jets too. But anyways, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six satellites left. Okay. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Uh, okay, so we got we have our uh, satellite last satellite nexus on its way. We are at full energy capacity. But that's okay, because uh, we're gonna excavate here. We're gonna get another thing right there. Like we have pretty much all the buildings we need right now. Wow, that that actually ended perfectly. And so satellites, I I need. I technically need six, but I would actually want to get, uh, sorry, I, I technically need only f six, but I would actually prefer to get seven, because in case a country wants a satellite or something, or something, one of mine gets shot down, I kind of have an extra on hand. So it's actually worthwhile for me to do that. I'm wondering if I should actually go for, you know, Phoenix cannons don't cost very much. You can at least get like one per, well, you know, I wonder if, I, do I, do I actually have satellites? Okay, we're gonna get five of these. Do I have satellites everywhere? Facilities at maximum capacity. Yes, I do. Additional you know, I'm pretty sure there's like a, a continent where I don't have, um, holy shit, South, Amer South Africa and Europe don't have them. Whoopsies. You guys didn't see shit. <laughs> All right, let's go get some Phoenix cannons. Cause this is like a hit chance is better. Like at least one of them should have it, you know. It's 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 it'll do for now, I guess. All right, so let's uh. Keep scanning. All right, we have um. We'll only be able to use whatever. Yeah. Okay, so we can't re we can't use Illyrium, really. Or we could uh. Oh shit, Titan armor. Uh, but we can't do that right now. See, I, I thought I would be able to build uh, Illyrium generators after that. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look up what the hell I need to do to get that. 
Now I know this is I know this is a priority, but I'm gonna wait until next month to do all of that shit. Okay. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Yeah, I know. I know you have. Actually, did did my uh? Yeah, we got two days left on those excavations, so. Satellite coverage is completion complete. Wow, 48 bucks. Where'd all my money go? Who ate the money? What the hell did I build? I don't even think I fucking did it. Well, I got the... Oh yeah, that's right, I got those new ships. Well, whatever. Oh, we got some new abductions. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Well, we'll be doing this next time, so until then, we will be watching.